This is that elk calf that that uh, bear was eating on. It's a good indicator right here where the animal's actually standing at. So this is where I hit him. He wheeled. Ran down right here, spraying blood on the side of the trees. 45 yards, so. It's a good boar. Looks like a big bear. Yeah. He didn't make it 80 yards. Whew. Smoked him. I could hear him blowing after I hit him. But I thought he made it to that draw over there. He'd made it about, probably about 60 to 70 yards at a dead sprint. So here he is, he's the lunker. Usually when you get a good look at him, you can see the space between their ears. That's a good old bear. He's got a little white around the side of his face, around his muzzle. Big brown teeth. I don't know how old he is exactly, but he's mature. And he's my biggest bear and with a bow. So you never know how far they're going to go. These bears are really tough to track. I actually hate tracking them. You can see this kind of taller brush here behind us and stuff in different areas. He was laying 70 yards away. We could have seen him the whole time, but just enough, enough brush to hide him. So I'm glad he's dead and not alive and pissed off coming back at us. But uh, some packing. Got my meat packer running the camera. She's ready to get dirty. Awesome bear. I just smoked a really nice six point ball. Oh my goodness. Just called him in through the fog off the top of the mountain there. I snuck up this draw and just paralleled him. He came all the way in looking for that cow. I gave a few soft cow calls. He came in, he was about 34 yards, and I smoked him, looked like a hard shot. That's what it's all about. Oh, God. It's amazing how fast he could go from nothing to all of a sudden hiking all day through the rain, and then all of a sudden just one bowl, one bowl is all it takes. Right place, right time.